Hey guys, Jitsun here from the Uber Falcons clan and today we are going to be going through another guide except today this guide is the most popular guide uh, that I have on Steam and it's called How to Kill the Stalker. So without further ado, let's get to the guide. Okay, so this guide will tell you how to kill the stalker but uh, first we need to know a few things just like you know in all my other guides. So first of all you need to know who the stalker is, how to find him. And uh, how you know if you have a death mark, we'll get to that later. And uh, what are his tactics, and then I'll tell you how to kill him, and uh, what he drops, and a little bit of uh, lore about the stalker. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, uh, who is the stalker? The stalker is a shadowy, shadowy uh, character in Warframe that randomly appears during missions to make your life horrible. And he uh, spawns with the level which ranges anywhere between 15 to 18 to 80. But uh, I have seen him at level 11, which is kind of sad. But you know, the D does some tweaking with Starker, and uh, his level varies. And we'll get to uh, get find out later on how le uh, levels can uh, vary variate. And uh, the Starker will attack, will target and attack a single player until the target player is dead. That does not mean a, re a revive state, but it means you know where you have to die, and then you get the option where you have to forfeit or you revive. So yeah, if you go in a re revive state, you can you know always get healed before he decides to run away. Uh, the stalker is a rogue Tenno, a little bit of lore here, and he will try to target and he will try to kill the target player. And we'll ignore other players as long as uh, the target player is in range and is not in a revive, revive state. So basically the stalker will randomly hate you for some weird reason and then target you and try to kill you. And will not care about anything else in the area. And he has 450 health, 50 armor and 200 shield. And his shield recharges approximately 5 seconds. But uh, this is just its ba his base uh, statistics but you know it can change depending on the level higher the level make him harder to kill and uh, he he will he will disappear after the target player has been killed or if he's given time to escape when his health is below 20 percent so yeah you have to kill this guy quickly or run away or die now he wields three unique weapons his primary is the dread it's a bow and it's dreadful if he hits you it has the power to decapitate any enemy he shoots at and uh, his secondary is called the despair it's it's a throwing knife just like the kunai except it looks a bit cooler and more despairing his melee is called the hate it's a sight and uh, you're gonna hate this if you try to melee him because it'll melee you, melee you back now uh, most of you are wondering, you know, now that we know what primary, secondary and melee he has, what abilities this guy has. So basically he has 5 Warframe abilities and that is uh, Slash Dash, Teleport, Absorb, Pull and the last one is called Dispel. Now you guys might have heard of the last four but Dispel is, an op is a Warframe mobility the stalker knows that can make you, well, a sponge or a nugget, whatever is, you know, weak and squishy. Uh, yeah, basically what this spell does is it gets rid of any active warframe abilities you use. So if you use absorb, he can use dispel and uh, your absorb will you know stop. And you can use snow globe and he can use dispel and your snow globe will just vanish. You can use iron skin <laughs> and he can use dispel and uh, you'll go back to being the butter you really are. <laughs> yeah, so most offensive and support warframe abilities used by the player will not affect the stalker at all but may still damage him so yeah just another thing to keep in mind you can use rhino stomp but he won't freeze but he will still get damaged and uh, please be familiar with like the abilities I've mentioned before the weapons and the statistics before you like keep watching this video because you know you're gonna need to know what he's equipped with okay guys so how do we find the stalker the stalker has the highest chance of spawning in missions right after you defeat a boss and the boss is usually found in assassination missions. So this means that he can only spawn he can spawn in any planet or void except in an assassination mission. So yeah, 
According to research done by me and my clan, we ruled out there are no unique bosses that will have a higher chance of spawning the stalker in future missions. I'm giving you a death mark in short. So, but there are certain bosses that will not give you a death mark. Now I'll explain what a death mark is later in a few minutes, but right now I'm just going to tell you the bosses that do not give you a death mark. Now, most of the corpus bosses do not give you a death mark, and that includes Aladwis, Anuka, the Ambulas, the Hyena Pack, KLDTM, who is Grenier, the Raptor, and the Arkin Derelict boss. Except we have gotten reports of the Lemphantis giving a death mark, but uh, I haven't confirmed it yet. So, yeah, maybe I'll uh, add it in my guide later because that will be m updated more than uh, this video as I can't update it after I upload it. Yeah, so on a side note, based on some comments that I got on my guide. Captain War on Mercury does not give a death mark, but Captain War on Phobos does. Now then again, this is just you know speculation, and I cannot confirm anything. And um, you do not need to have a killing blow on a boss to get a death mark. That means you do not have to like get the last shot on the boss or get the last bullet on the boss before he dies. You just have to finish the assassination mission. According to uh, more research carried out by my clan, we summarized that the Stalker has a higher chance of targeting players with Warframes with a rank from 10 to 29. Now, you don't, the Stalker will not target your, the Warframe that you have killed the boss with, but will target you as a player. So you can kill a boss with your Nyx and then be targeted while you're running around with your Frost in you know whatever mission you're doing. Yeah, so. Uh, we also concluded that the stalker has an extremely high chance of spawning in nightmare mode missions after killing a boss Ex excluding nightmare assassination missions of course and uh, the stalker's level is determined by the highest of either the target's mini maximum weapon rank or the planet's minimum rank now uh, this is a general description of how we can determine stalker's level when he spawns but uh, just so you know, I was doing a mission, survival mission on Earth today, and I was using my rank 30 Penta, and uh, he spawned at something like rank 11. So, you know, this is just again, you know, a general, general description on the Stalker's level. So in short, the Stalker has a, the highest chance of spawning in a Nightmare Mode mission as soon as a player playing the mission with a Warframe rank between 10 and 29 kills a boss. And uh, the chance of a stalker appearing in a mission is uh, it stacks up if uh, every member in your squad has uh, an, a death mark. And uh, yeah, so let's get on to how you know if you have a death mark. So once you kill a boss, you have a chance of receiving a message, which I'm showing in the video right now. This indicates that you have a death mark and that the stalker has a chance of spawning in the next few missions you do till he spawns. Now uh, after the stalker spawns you'll need to get this message again. So you'll need to get the message again to renew your chances of spawning the stalker after you run into him if you were not if you even if you are not the stalk target player. Um, wait I don't think you guys got that properly so let me explain again. Uh, my my mouth's uh, drying up. Yeah so yeah, you know you get a death mark if you get a if you get this message from the stalker, and you get this message from the stalker if you kill any of the bosses I have not mentioned before. And uh, if the stalker targets you and tries to kill you, you know you are the target player if you get the message in a mission. But if you get targeted, then you abort or you die or if anything happens, if you kill him, you have to renew your chances of spawning. That means you'll have to get this message all over again. And to get that message all over again, you have to go and kill more bosses till you get the message. And other players in the squad, squad do not have to renew this because they weren't the targeted player. So only you as the targeted player would have to renew this. Okay guys, so what are his tactics? So before the stalker spawns, the screen of the target player will flicker and he will receive a message from the stalker. That is, not your other, that is how you know you are the targeted player. And uh, the stalker will always taunt the target player before appearing. Now, other players will only see their screens flicker. This happens about 5 to 30 seconds after the target player's screen flickers. The stalker spawns kneeling within a radius of 5 meters near the target player. He will almost always attack the target player with his hate at close range. So, the target player is 
If the target player is too far away, he will use his slash dash skill to attack. And uh, he rarely uses his despair and dread, but it is most likely he is most likely to use it if the target player is on top of an object like uh, you know on a, on a box. And uh, when the target player is running around in circles around the stalker. Yeah. So basically, the stalker is a close range fighter. You don't want to be close to him. That's why you'll hate the hate when he starts using the hate against you. So yeah, the stalker uses his dispel ability if he's given the chance, and it will remove the following active abilities: blessing, contagion, invisibility, iron skin, hysteria, link, lost star, overheat, roar, shadows of the dead, smoke screen, speed, roll on fire, etc., etc., etc. So the stalker will use his absorb ability when his health goes below 50%. So keep that in mind. You want to kill the stalker really fast. My clan and I have still not determined what. The cause what causes the stalker to use his teleport or pull abilities, but we assume it is when the target player is either too far from the stalker and there's no and there's no other target player in range, and when the target player is out of the stalker's line of sight or on a large box. So the stalker will usually attempt to run away if his health if his health goes below 20%, or if he kills the target player. And uh, finally, how to kill the stalker. Okay, now that you know how the stalker behaves, all you need to know is, all you need to do is remember these tips and tactics. Now, uh, Nyx's absorb and Mag's shield polarize, Rhino's iron skin, Trinity's blessing are useful moves that are not against stalker. But well, the only thing you have to hope is that he does not use dispel. This is why you need a team. You don't want to go find the stalker alone. By going in a team, you increase you who have a death mark, you increase the chance for him spawning, and the chance that you don't get killed then uh, cut in half like a piece of butter. Now, uh, those of you who don't believe me about getting cut in half, the stalker slash dash ability is lethal. It's a one-hit KO. It deals about 1,200 damage. And if you have a rhino with iron skin and the max redirection, you still have a minimum chance of surviving. So, please stay away from him. And uh, always stay on the move, because you don't want to get hit by his, you know, straight slash dash. And have the target player stay at about tw a 20 meter, 20 20 meters from the stalker, because you know that way you're in the middle. You're neither too far or neither too close for him to use his uh, uh, ability abilities. So it's up to the rest of the team to take him out while uh, the target player is trying to stay alive. Now the stalker is very vulnerable as soon as he spawns. You know, kneeling. Uh, besides the target player. Now my officer and I were doing a nightmare mode mission once and uh, he it was just me and him and uh, he managed to shoot the stalker at point blank with the bracket before he got the chance to get up. So please if you know you, you are being targeted and the stalker is around stay near the target player and try and kill him before he gets up. And that's exactly what I'll be showing you uh, in the video where I kill the stalker with a couple of my friends from my clan and basically we deal a lot of damage to him before he gets up and then kill him when he gets up. Okay, so uh, try and get into a larger or wide open room before engaging him because that way you know you uh, are not, you know where he is and you can't get stuck while running around. And uh, stay away from the stalker when he uses his absorbability and pound him from a distance. Because uh, if you're close to the stalker when he uses absorb you want to get back. Because the more you damage him the more powerful his absorbability will be when he uh, um, is done using his ability and I've seen a lot of my members like uh, die because they didn't realize he was using absorber and then yeah they got pwned okay so if he spawns when you're in a copper spaceship this is a cool way to get rid of him try and lower him into a room with reinforced glass then exit the room quickly and break the glass while the stalker is still inside let him die and unlock the doors and then proceed with the mission. <laughs> That's a pretty interesting tactic that was mentioned to me earlier by one of my clan mates. So you should try it. But uh, you know if you're if you know you're gonna die or if you're unconfident, do not try it. And uh, never try to attack melee attack the stalker with the gallant even with the gallant team, unless you wanna be sliced in half like butter. So yeah. The stalker will basically own you in in any form of melee combat. I mean, Melee 2.0 came out uh, with Apple 13 recently, and they, even with the changes I've seen, you still don't stand a chance if you're going to go against him with a melee weapon. So that's all you need to know. So go ahead and thrash the stalker. So yeah, um, 
that's about it. So I'll just explain what the stalker drops. We have confirmed the following drop probabilities for, uh, for the stalker as of update 13. And the stalker can also drop a resource and a blueprint mod at the same time. The stalker also has a chance of dropping nothing at all when you kill it. So the stalker can drop the following. A dr I'll uh, say them in order of uh, uh, rarity. So he can drop the dread blueprint, he's primary. He can drop serration mod. He can uh, drop heavy impact, molten impact. Uh, he can drop the despair blueprint, he can drop the hate blueprint. He can drop melee channel, he can drop focus, he can drop a rare fire fusion core. And he can drop an arc in cell. So that's about it. And he can be scanned uh, three times in the codex. And his codex description is quite long. It's probably the longest codex description I've seen. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen right now. So yeah, try and scan at your own risk. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, more information can be found in my guide on Steam. I'll link it in the description. If you guys have any other tactics that you'd like to share or any other information about the stalker, just leave it in the description. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, because that just gives me the inspiration to make more videos like this for you guys. So yeah, peace out. Let's get out of here.